Now, the Boy Scouts of America have made a momentous decision in allowing transgender boys to join the organization. However, of course, not everyone is happy with this uh, decision. Now, uh, first, let me start with the statement from the Boy Scouts of America. He says, quote, starting today, we will accept and register youth in the Cub and Boy Scout programs based on the gender identity indicated on the application. Our organization's local councils will help them find units that can provide for the best interest of the child. Now, the BSA notes that many states and municipalities now protect against discrimination on the basis of gender identity, which I think is a, is a positive thing. Now, the Boy Scouts have uh, gotten a lot of heat in the last decade because, of course, their policies on uh, LGBT scouts and scout masters, some of which they had to get taken to court. Now, this decision, ironically, comes right after one of those uh, one of those lawsuits. Now, a New Jersey family had recently filed suit against the Boy Scouts of America after it prohibited their eight-year-old son, Joe Maldonado, from joining because he is transgender. Now, uh, unlike their previous attempts to ban LGBT youth from joining, they decided this time, thanks to the protections in these states and municipalities, that going to court was not worth the time, the effort, or the money. So, oh, look at that. Now, Maldonado tell, told NBC4, quote, We weren't just fighting so, we, so I could go in. We were fighting so this doesn't happen to anybody else. And now it looks like it won't happen to anyone else. It better not. I like that. A little part at the end. It better not happen to anybody else. Or else I'm coming for you, Boy Scouts. We're coming for you. <laughs> now, of course, um, religious conservatives... We're not happy. Uh, you have Jonathan Keller here, uh, CEO from the California Family Council. Now, he uh, talked to Think Progress, and he told them that he found the BSA's decision, quote, tragically sad. And that despite the proud legacy of Eagle Scouts and his family, he will now refuse to let his children participate in the organization alongside of transgender boys. Because apparently associating with these other children is going to affect them so negatively in some weird ways that nobody can really explain. So, so I guess he's going to hurt his own children. Because look, being around a transgender person is not going to hurt you. Hurt your kids, it's not going to hurt you. What you're doing is you're hurting your kids by denying them entry into the Boy Scouts because of your temper tantrum. That's what's going in. Now, another conservative also weighed in, and this is a man by the name of Denny Burke. Now, Denny Burke has pioneered the Southern Baptist Convention's condemnations of transgender people, so you can pretty much see where he stands. Now, he basically said, quote, I can't help but grieve that the Boy Scouts are going along with this radical redefinition of what it means to be a boy. They are making a big mistake in this, and it will be one that hurts not only their organization, but also the very boys they wish to serve. And again, I have to ask, how is it going to hurt them? In what, in what way that's provable that you can look at and go, oh my God, these, these children were hurt by being around somebody who is transgender. Who is it going to hurt? In what way is this going to hurt the Boy Scouts? Now, I'd love to see this guy answer it without using Jesus. Because look, that's their argument on all of these different issues. Can't have gay Boy Scouts because of Jesus. Can't have uh, gay Scoutmasters because of Jesus. Hmm. Can't have transgender boys because of Jesus. Yeah, all, all right, I get it, I get it. So give me an actual good concrete reason. Because right now, all it is, is that it's just their identity. It's what they identify as. And they're not saying that you have to identify that way or a different way. It's just saying that, hey, I identify this way and I would like to go and, and hang out with people that I identify with. There's nothing wrong with that. What are they going to do? Are they going to go and check? No, it's ridiculous. But again, this is where, you know, religious fundamentalism comes into play. And that's why I'm wholly against it. And look, you know, I want to thank Joel Maldonado for opening this up for fighting for other people and the Boy Scouts for eventually uh, giving in and saying, okay, look, we're going to allow people in. And I'm going to guess that this isn't going to hurt them whatsoever. And it actually 
is going to help them. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYT Nation.